Good morning. You want some breakfast? There you go. Right, ready? <laughs> Davis found a creative way to dry off his rain fly. <laughs> well, good morning. I'm Matt with Ozark Riverland Adventures. Everybody say good morning. Good morning. And we are camped on the bank of the Supply, what is it, Supply Basin? Oh, I like that. Supply Lake Basin, something like that. Uh, but it is a gorgeous little lake. Uh, we got here pretty early yesterday, about five o'clock, and had an awesome time last night. If you did not see the previous video um, where we, how we got to here, Go check that out we have had an amazing trip so far this is day five of our seven and a half day trip through northern colorado and man we are absolutely loving it today on the agenda uh, is let's go see what we can find we have no agenda we're just exploring from you know, wherever we break camp and leave and go till about five o'clock and then try to find a new camp to set up and you know, just chill and hang out. Uh, being on this lake last night was awesome because we got to try out the new paddleboard and Kara's new pack raft, and we had a blast in that. Um, the lake does have uh, a bunch of leeches in it, so we didn't go swimming. But I think we're ready to go. Camp is uh, is all put away, and we're going to hit the trail. Thanks for joining along with us. Hope you enjoy it. Ozark Overland Adventures is proudly supported by the Moore Expo, the Midwest's number one adventure travel consumer expo. Artemis Overland Hardware. They have one of the largest selections of overlanding gear available. Big Iron Overland Rally, where Overland Expo meets music festival. Shop Overland Apparel, your source for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise and more. Open Road Four Wheel Drive, makers of affordable, high quality winches and recovery gear. Outback RV of Texas, the best place for Overland Adventure trailers. And Moon, makers of the Moonshade Portable Awning. See that black thing in there? That's a leech. Yep. This little lake here is full of them. Want to go for a morning paddle? We kayaked with leeches this morning. Well, it's going to be real hard to top this campsite, but we're going to try. These fields of flowers are just so beautiful. That's my kind of road. This trail has just been unreal gorgeous. For 
a lot of the day yesterday and so far starting out today we're we're kind of on a plateau um we're staying consistently well above 10,000 feet um 10, right now and i don't think we've dipped down below 10,000 for a long time um but we haven't had any real steep hill climbs or any steep descents or anything like that so um, just been cruising around up here above 10,000 feet and the wildflowers are just bonkers It's really hard not for me to just be constantly flying my drone or constantly videoing Because it's just so gorgeous But the the, the road is uh, uh, definitely rough in places So you can't uh, you can't get too relaxed soaking in the scenery because you'll you'll hit a, a rock or a a big rut in the road unexpectedly and get whiplash which is not good um, but we're just gonna keep cruising and soaking it in this is gonna be a good day terrain starting to get a lot more rocky on the hillsides now. We've crossed over 11,000 feet. I don't know if that's why. There's fewer wildflowers here. Well, that mud hole looked a whole lot worse than it was. Kara's moved to the back of the group because she wants to stop and take lots of photos without slowing the group down. So she hops out, takes photos, Pops back in, catches up. I'll put some of her photos in here so that you can see what she's been doing. She's having a lot of fun. Somewhere around the time of this video coming out, maybe even before this video comes out, Carrie and I will be on another adventure to Colorado just the two of us me and my gladiator her and her wrangler and just the two of us making our way up the eastern portion of the rockies on our way to overland expo mountain west and then after mountain west we're going to make our way north into wyoming for a day or two before heading home after that one so be sure and hit that subscribe button because uh, I'm really looking forward to that trip with just the two of us. So if you're watching this and not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. We've got a goal to hit 75,000 subscribers by the end of this year. And believe we can do it because I know a lot of the people that watch our videos um, never hit the subscribe button. So um, do me a favor, go down there and, and hit that subscribe button because uh, we got a lot of good stuff going on. See those tall bluff lines in the distance that's where we're headed we will be up on top of those here in a little bit
that sign at the beginning of this uh, trail where it said not suitable for two-wheel drive vehicles was definitely right. And this has gotten interesting this morning. Well, this trail has had a solid mix of rocky technical sections, uh, smooth dirt, lots of ruts and, and, and divots and stuff. Um, and the ride in my Gladiator now, it just keeps getting better and better. Uh, went from the rock crawler lift to the Clayton off-road lift, and that made a huge difference and now have gone from you know your standard monotube bilstein 5100 shocks to the elka uh, remote reservoir adjustable shocks and oh my gosh the difference those shocks have made on a train like this with my bilsteins i would have been beat up pretty good i mean they're good shocks but this type of varied terrain and um, you know, they're not designed to, to adjust between different terrains and the adjustability of the Elka shocks has been fantastic. I've got them kind of on a, um, both the soft and the hard rebound on a medium setting today and it's really soaking up everything as I hit the technical section to drop down big ledges. It catches me and doesn't send me bouncing all over the place. Um, really, really love the ride and the adjustability of these Elka shocks. Uh, can't speak highly enough of them. So if, uh, you know, if you're unhappy with, uh, with your standard shocks and you're getting a little more into some hardcore wheeling and finding it uh, to, be, uh, to be a rough ride, give the Elkas a try. I was never, I never wanted to think I would be running reservoir shocks, uh, especially adjustable ones, but whew, they make a difference. We're gonna take that road all the way to the top and then we're going that way. This has been a heck of a hill climb. It's a good one. It didn't look that bad from down below, but it's steep and rocky. I like it. What an incredible trail. Absolutely beautiful and fun. God, it's been fun. Hello. How's it going? Going good. You having fun? Oh, yeah. That was a fun hill climb. Yeah, it was. This whole trail, this may be like my favorite of the trip. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's got technical spots. I mean, this has got it all. How's Goose doing? He's doing good. Is he loving it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's doing great. What you thinking, Ben? I got dust in my eyes. That's <laughs> 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 oh, an awesome trail, though. So relief. Awesome trail. I think this is my favorite one so far. It's really good. the whole good. trip. It's been good. It's got it all. It's been really good. I think my stock, Carla? My stock have done that. Are you hey, back there somewhere? I'm back here. Hello. He's back there somewhere. Good grief. I've got her. Y'all got her packed in. Yeah. I mean, okay. at least it's when y'all get to the, the rough stuff, she's got pillows to. Pillows. Yeah, exactly. I Little airbags. Yeah. <laughs>
is 12:28. If God gives such attention to the wildflowers, most of them never even seen, don't you think He'll attend to you, take pride in you, and do His best for you? I'd say that's very appropriate right now. Yes, love. Thank you for planning this. This is beautiful. Oh, you're very welcome. <laughs> well, we have found an incredible overlook on this ridge line. I mean, check it out. Look at that. Golly, what a view. You know, we got a big snow drift right here. Have a snowball fight up here on the on the bluff. John's going down. Yeah. He's gonna get him some he snow. Gotta touch it. He gotta get the snow. He doesn't get much snow in southern Arkansas. Mm -mm. Matt, will you give us twenty bucks if we both jump in that? Uh <laughs> I will uh I'll watch you fall down the cliff. <laughs> it is very firm, but Oh. He can handle he, He's got a lot more balance than we do. Ben, come up here. I know. Hey, Goose. Get in my picture, Ben. Goose, here, lady. Right. Come here. Get in my picture, Ben. <laughs> ben, do not get on that. Don't get on that. Ben, no. Come out of the picture. He's thinking a snowball. I want to take a picture too. Take snowball? Take pictures of a lake. Please yeah, come on. Ben's terrifying people. He needs my. No. Ben needs my safety second shirt from Sean at the Story Till Now. Get it at dirtyanddangerous.com, just stupid like we did. First, not safety stupid second. First. <laughs> yeah. Ben, you need your own shirt. Stupid first, not safety second. It's solid ice. It ain't going nowhere. Selfie time. Last night, you're home. <laughs> Come here, Goose. Come on, Goose. You there you are. What are you doing? You got a flower in your mouth? Yes. After that last overlook, we found this little offshoot trail. They came here, and it was a great spot for lunch. The, God, the colors in that lake down there are gorgeous. But this view just, man, they just don't quit. And it would be an amazing camping spot for like one to two vehicles, but that's it. But. Oh, it's just so gorgeous. What do you think, John? It's amazing. It's amazing. Love the Alpine lakes down below. It's pretty sweet. Now, let me show you how we're keeping all of our uh, things charged on a seven and a half day trip like this. Because, I mean, as you can imagine, Karen and I have a ton of batteries and phones, watches, all that sort of stuff that we need to keep charged, radios. I've got a lot of power in the back of my Gladiator but I haven't been able to put outlets and stuff from it up into the Jeep. So I've got the Blue Eddy EB55 just sitting here in the back. Um, it's plugged into the outlet over there. So while I'm driving, it's constantly being charged. I've got my radios plugged in, camera batteries, watch, um, other radio, uh, drone batteries, all of that's being charged constantly from the Blue Eddy EB55. And it's been working fantastic. In here in the back of Kara's Jeep, we got Goose whining because he's stuck in here. But we've got the brand new Blue Eddy EB3A. It's a little 300 watt um, power station. It's plugged into the 12 volt outlet. 
And so that's constantly charging this while we're going and here we're keeping her drone batteries charged, her camera batteries charged, radio charged, and running a little fridge over there just to keep drinks in her rig. Um, so it's been working great. Well, we're working our way down the back side of where we ate lunch. And I mean, everywhere is just, it's just so unbelievably gorgeous. And I mean, it's just now 12.15 in the afternoon. And I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but I've already gotten so much hey, footage okay. that uh, it may be a long one. So anyway, uh, if it is, if it is long, I uh, hope you enjoy it. Um, but, we have not seen what we saw one one four-wheeler when we were at uh before we stopped for lunch we saw one one couple on a four-wheeler and that's the only humans that we have seen all day today and this this is why we do this i mean look at this I, look at this look, look over there and then look over here and then look over here hey I mean, this this is why we do this because I mean, yeah, you can see some amazing things in the national parks and the state parks and stuff like that, but you're surrounded by a bunch of people and, you know, all that stuff. We're out here all alone. We got this, we got this all to ourselves. Just us and the chipmunks and the marmots and occasionally a deer. Haven't seen a moose yet, at least not on this, not in this area. But th this, this is why, so. I hope that, I hope that this inspires you to to get off pavement because uh, that's where the good stuff is. That, that, that's where you find it. Got a herd of sheep on the right, up the hill. <gasps> sure do. There's sheep up there. Whole bunch of sheep. stretch of road here lots of great campsites along it I've been marking them as uh, as we've driven by just you know for our patrons if they're in this area finding places to camp pretty easy I mean there's there's a lot of really big ones really nice ones tucked back into the trees I mean, look at that one you can see it very good look at that one that's gorgeous But we are still just driving along. We are now on a much smoother road. Uh, it's got a, a bench and a big fire ring and a log. But we're on a much smoother road now. But we're in an area where larger RVs and stuff can get to. So I'm curious to see what, what else we'll find. Not sure how long this stretch of road lasts. But so far up to now, we've only gone 20 miles. So it's probably good to hit some smooth dirt for a while. Cover some ground, because this is like a, my route is like 300 miles, and we've only done like 40 in the last two days. We're not getting very far. <laughs> It's crazy how you turn a corner on the trail and all of a sudden it becomes a graded forest service road. And you're now down into the trees and just cruising along. It's beautiful through here with these aspens though. Look at this. It's gorgeous with driving through these aspens is gorgeous though. Here's the current situation. We have been driving on graded Forest Service roads for hours, looking for a potential camp. Uh, once we came out of that gorgeous area, I think in the White River National Forest, we're now in the Route National Forest, and there ain't nothing here. Uh, we've got some spots that 
I was able to download from Lifestyle Overland's Patreon, uh, but they're, they're they're not very good here. Um, so we're just pressing on. It's currently 5:30. We wanted to be, you know, we'd have liked to be at camp at five. Uh, someplace beautiful, but we can't find it. But everything we found in this is, is below mediocre. It's bad. So we're pressing on. Um, I would love to actually get back on trail and off the graded forest service roads because here's the deal if you're on graded forest service roads and there's campsites off of that that means that anybody can get to them you know you got your little rvs your van lifers um car campers if if you're on a graded forest service road the odds of finding good camp spots are pretty slim so we, we need to get back on trail off of Great Forest Service Roads. Sure. I mean, at least it's pretty through here. And just think, just this morning we were looking at amazing fields and lakes, and now we're looking at dust. Yeah, not so good for the people behind us. All right, man, you're gonna go check out this uh, Chapman Reservoir area? Yes. Well, we did manage to find a nice large spot to camp uh, in this beautiful, Aspen is it is it Aspen Grove? Is it Aspen Grove? Aspen Grove. Aspen Grove. In this beautiful Aspen Grove. Um, I mean there's there's no lake, there's no stream, but we got aspens and somehow there's no bugs. So that's a win. Um we're all just setting up camp. And I think it's gonna be a good night. It's uh six o'clock, so an hour later than we normally would would want to camp. <laughs> you can see. <laughs> Ben's using his CO2 tank to blow off the dust on the back of the Forerunner. <laughs> For dinner tonight, we're having bison burgers from the Honest Bison. You know how much I love this company. Their meat is delicious. And some baked beans. And this is all going to be cooked on our trail fire grill. Uh, this is a propane fire pit, grilling top, uh, wok, I got the rest of it over there, uh, pizza stone, John and Robert over there, they're gonna, they're having a, they got the trail fire grill too. They're cooking pizzas tonight, wish I thought of that. Uh, we're having burgers. Ben's cooking up burgers for his family. Did you buy those with the cheddar already in there? Yep. That's cheating. Oh, nice. It's easy. Looks good. All right, dinner's on. See how well this works. James has some ribeyes and some green beans going on the skriddle. Oh, you already got one cooked. Got one done. Like that, the, the appetizer steak. All right, the pizza's going on. There we go. Oven is on. All right, they're almost ready. All right, it's pizza's done. ready. All right. Oh. Meat lovers and cheese. Man, pizza at camp. That's awesome. For reference, in this video, we did not cut down an aspen. Yes. <laughs> no, it was already at camp. It was actually crossing the road and someone else caught it. It had already fallen. There we go. You got that on video, right? Yes, it did. Okay, well, dinner's done, cleaned up, even had dessert. Ben had some cinnamon rolls. We cooked those on the trail fire grill. A little pizza oven thing. Turned out pretty darn good. Uh, we've just been goofing off. A little axe throwing with a aspen log that Ben found. Not cut down. Cut. It was already cut. Um, <laughs> and now we're just chilling around camp. Occasionally the wind blows and the aspens leaves rustle and do their little aspen song it's really nice well i think it's time to end this video for the day it's been a good one this morning was incredible afternoon eh, but still a very 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 good day say goodbye ben goodbye ben <laughs> <laughs> oh if you would subscribe to the channel if you are not already give the video a like uh check out our patreon link below uh, if you want to um, get access to special content, our GPS data, uh, merch discounts, all kinds of good stuff. And go to shopoverlandapparel.com for Ozark Overland Ventures merchandise. And we'll see you tomorrow.
or the next Friday for you. Say goodnight, babe. Night, babe.